Hey there everyone, welcome to another video. You are watching an episode of Skincare Lately. This is a series where I come on here and talk to you about skincare and skincare related products I've used recently that may not have a solo spot or feature over on my blog website. So you're seeing them here on YouTube and it's just going to be a rundown in today's case of four new to me sunscreen products I have tried out this summer so far. Now I know for all you North Americans this is coming at you a little bit late in the season I know but hopefully you will still find it useful or at least take notes for the next season or when you go traveling or if you're one of my southern hemisphere viewers this will be great for you as you're just getting into the warmer weather. So a brief breakdown on the two sunscreen categories you have available out on the market. Um, you've got your physical products which are mineral based. They're generally titanium and zinc oxide products and they are literally a physical covering over your skin that helps to reflect the sun's rays. They're generally great for those who have sensitivity to chemical products or who break out easily and things like that. If you are one of those people you know exactly who you are. I am one of those people. On the other hand, there are your chemical sunscreen products which are very very popular nowadays because they are so cosmetically elegant. They are smooth, they are lightweight, some of them are just like a watery consistency, you don't feel it on the skin. Everything that people hated about sunscreen um, is literally out the window with all these newer chemical formulas. But of course, if you are someone who can't handle all of the chemical ingredients all the time, then physical might be the way to go. Now today I have four physical sunblocks I, I have been trying out throughout the season like I mentioned and they do tend to be higher end. I will tell you that straight off the bat because a lot of the greener or less expensive brands I have tried before they just are not there yet in terms of the consistency, the formulation, the texture of their products. I want something that not only does what it's supposed to do but also feels good or at least tolerable on my skin, especially on the face. On the body, I'm a lot more flexible um, in terms of that. So four products today, lots of interesting, probably new to you sunblock products. So let's talk about them. My first product here is from the French brand Jarfan Paris and this is available at Shopper's Drug Mart. I happened upon it when I was shopping for other things and I was instantly drawn to this because it says it's an environmental lightweight shield emulsion all physical with SPF 50. So for the summertime 50 is where I like to be, that's my range and I like the idea that it's an emulsion which tends to mean it's a creamier formulation and that's exactly what this is. It has a slight yellow tint which is quite you know, unnoticeable on my skin once I put it on. Um, I think it's a really beautifully smooth texture. It feels almost creamy, it's so silky, so smooth, really easy to blend over the skin. I will say this is not the best at things like oil control. This is not greasy upon first application per se, but about halfway through the day you are needing to either blot or touch up your makeup. I do often wear this alone and um, especially for work as well. You just put it on during the day, during your transit or if you're driving, that's great for that. Um, I would say this is reasonably lightweight. I like that it's in a small, compact, travel friendly bottle. It's plastic, you squeeze and go and there's a little shaker ball on the inside that you shake it up every time you use it. For the most part, I like it. It is quite expensive. Um, I'm not sure if this is something I would continue purchasing or repurchasing throughout um, the months, but quite a nice product, although currently not yet my favorite product. Next we have a Canadian company that I've mentioned a couple times in my skincare products um, videos before and this is from Juvian's. Now this is SPF 30 again in a totally physical sun formulation and I was so excited about this because you know number one Canadian brand but number two I like the idea that it's in a pump dispenser. I like that it's slim and compact and Juvian's products tend to be in the um, kind of mid-range price point of things. I would call Darfan kind of entry level like pushing into high end but Juvian's is still quite acceptable in terms of you know how much you're spending. So like I said SPF 30, now this is I would say 
comes off as a very traditional type of physical sunblock. It does have a white cast. The Darfan does not. Um, but the white cast kind of dissipates after a while or if you put makeup over your sunblock then it's not generally an issue for you. This is really a lotion consistency. It actually says SPF 30 lotion right on the packaging. And again, that was another draw for me as well. I wanted something that was lightweight and comfortable, especially during the summer seasons. It does have a dry finish on the skin. It's not moist like the other ones. And I would say it is very lightweight. Oil control is quite good, better than the previous one, better than Darfan. And probably I would say the on par with the next one I'm about to show you. But um, Juvian's quite okay. If you have oily or oily to combination skin, this might be an option for you. And again, at a slightly lower price point too. My next product here is something completely new to me. I've actually never heard of the brand before, but when I try to look up some info about it, apparently it's, it's quite popular. So you may have heard about this one. This is from the brand Alumiere MD, and this is their Clear Shield Broad Spectrum Sunscreen with SPF 42. Now again, um, their whole range is all about cosmetically elegant physical slash mineral sunblock, for the body as well as for the face. There are a couple of different formulations from Illumiere MD. I have um, samples of all the other ones and like mini samples, but this is the full size that they sent so I could try it out. So um, this is labeled as an oil-free sunscreen lotion. Now I would not necessarily call this a lotion. I would say this is a lightweight cream but it has an extremely creamy consistency and texture. It applies beautifully on the skin. It is quite good as a makeup base. Um, I really like applying my mineral foundations over this. Liquid foundations are also okay, but I do like this with the mineral foundation because once you put it on, there is a slight moistness to the skin. Not greasiness, but slight moistness, and I find the mineral foundation really sticks well to that after I've got this on. I would say this is somewhat moisturizing, yet without being super greasy. You can feel this on the skin. I will say that this is not like invisible on the skin, at least not this formulation. They have another formulation called Sheer, Sheer Something. Then that one is really just like a lotion. I'm thinking of picking up that one um, maybe next summer or if I get through a lot of this. But I think this is a really beautifully formulated um, sunblock product, especially for the face. And you get quite a large tube, of course you can use on the body, but in particular, you know, I'm talking about things that can go with your makeup, you can wear on the daily, on your face, it isn't going to make you feel super gross in the muggy heat. So I very much like this, I find it easy to blend, um, minimal if, you know, any type of white cast, it's very, very minimal, maybe a slight bit. Juvian's had a lot of white cast, and this one, not really, I couldn't really tell after a couple of minutes. They do also have tinted versions. I don't prefer the tinted versions because the tints are not light enough for my skin tone. That's just a little personal preference. My last product here is from our beloved brand Bioderma. You guys know and heard, I know lots and lots about Bioderma. But they have recently come out with their Photo Compact SPF 50 Plus. And this is called a mineral compact, very high protection um, for sensitive skin. There's 10 grams in here. Now, you might be more familiar with the Aven version of a compact that is tinted, that is SPF. This very much reminds me of that, um, but it's from Bioderma. So I have the lighter of two shades available, and I will say the color is a big downfall to this product. The product itself isn't awful. Um, it's probably better suited for those with dry skin, but not flaky skin and not dehydrated skin. This is quite a creamy formulation. It's actually super creamy, but on the other hand, can come off as being greasy if you have anything more than combination or dry skin. So not recommended for all skin types, but um, gosh, I feel like they're close, but they're not quite there yet. 
a lot of brands add a tint or some kind of color to their physical sunscreens because the zinc anti-titanium dioxide does have a white cast. It is just the physical properties of the minerals themselves. So adding the tint in there helps to negate you know, the white cast. But on the other hand, you really, really have to get your colors right because this is orange on me. No other way to explain it. There is a darker shade which does look more yellow, but again, it would be too dark for me. Um, I wore this a couple of times. I could not stand the feeling on my face. You do need to set this with a powder. And um, yeah, bit of a fail for me in terms of the four that I have tried out. I will say the consistency is super smooth, easy to blend, fingers, brush, beauty blender, whatever you got is fine. Um, but just a little bit off, not quite there yet. So there you have it, the four new to me physical sunblocks that I have tried out this summer. Um, for a very quick rundown between the four, I would say if you are looking for an all around good one, go with the Alumier MD. There's a couple of formulas available. I think it is very cosmetically elegant, comfortable for the most part, although not the most lightweight, but beautiful under makeup and great as a makeup base and seems to actually extend the wear of my foundation by a little bit, I would say. Um, right next to it, and I think probably on par with it, I would still say the Darfan um, Environmental Lightweight Shield. This one is great, especially if you just wanna wear a solo. The bit of a yellow tint doesn't seem to really alter my skin tone in any way. There is an ever so slight bit of coverage, but really negligible because it's very, very sheer. But this one's also great. I would say more for oilier, sorry, for drier skin. Um, perhaps look into the Darfan. Really great formula and consistency. If you have oily skin and you are going to be putting foundation over your sunscreen, in which case the white cast isn't an issue, go with the Juviance SPF 30. This is a really lightweight consistency. I love the texture of it. It's just, number one, a little bit too dry for me, I think, and the white cast just kills me on a regular day. So that's this one. And unfortunately, our little bioderma is on the end of my personal spectrum, but if you do have dry skin to very dry skin, and if you are maybe, I would say an NC25 or so in MAC terms, um, this might be an okay shade for you. It's just not an okay shade for me. So there you go, my four sunblock products. If you tried a new sunscreen that you really love, leave it down for, below for me in the information, um, sorry, in the comment section of this video and I'd love to hear recommendations. So that's it for today. Take care of yourselves. I will see you very soon in our next video. Bye for now.